Have no fear, Mighty Man is here to save those nice guys. If you're watching this video and you're a nice guy, I'm talking directly to you. Oh, me? You don't do nothing for nobody, especially yourself. Straight up. Nice people are the worst. Nice people don't say what they're thinking. Nice people walk away from conversations, leaving a lot of stuff unsaid, and then they go to bed at night replaying conversations in their head and just editing them, saying stuff like, oh, I wish I had said this, I wish I had said that. That's what nice people do. I was in that situation, but I learned very quickly that being nice is not the way to go. So, as you all know, we have always been told to play nice. Be nice to your brother, be nice to your sister. That's what the adults in our life initially want us to do because we have to learn how to, you know, play well with each other, get along with each other. So being nice is probably the best thing that you can possibly do as a kid. Why are people being nice? People want to be nice because they want people to like them. People want to be nice because they don't want to start any fires. They don't want to start any conflict. They don't want to start no beef. And people want to be nice because what was that third reason? I had a third reason. Oh yeah, that third reason is people want to be nice because it's hard to tell the truth. So those are the three reasons that I was a nice guy for a while. I think that nice people share those same reasons when it comes to why they're being so nice. This was the moment where I transitioned from being a nice guy to a good guy. I had a tyrannical boss who worked me 80 hours a week, six days a week. And I was the office yes man guys. and. I could just tell that nobody respected me. Part of that was because me being a foreigner here in Japan, I didn't want to draw any attention to me by making like a lot of mistakes at work or by talking back to my boss. But there's nothing wrong with a little back talk, guys, if I'm being honest. As long as you're being respectful and as long as you're not being overly aggressive, I don't think there's anything wrong with back talk at all. You have to imagine that me working those hours, I did not have much time to spend with my wife. I remember one day I was sitting in my truck and I asked myself, I said, Caleb, is your fear of being disliked or yelled at by your boss greater than the love that you have for your wife? So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna have to sit down with my boss and tell him that if something about my job situation doesn't change, then I'm leaving. And I ultimately did. He tried to change some stuff, but he didn't really put in an effort, and I left. And I was like, you know what? Never again. I'm not playing the nice guy ever again. I'm going to tell people exactly what I'm thinking, and I'm going to let people know how they need to treat me. Nice guys finish last. I'm sure you've heard that phrase a billion times. But one thing that I don't like about the people that use that phrase is the fact that they never tell you what you should be instead of being a nice guy. They just say, oh, nice guys finish last. And then people think, oh, should I be a bad guy? No, you shouldn't be a bad guy either. You should be a good guy. You should be a good person that loves and cares for the people around him. If you make your goal loving the people around you, then you'll transition from a nice person to a good person. Transitioning from a nice person to a good person is a process. You know, sometimes I still have moments where I'm being a little bit too nice, but ultimately I can say that most conversations that I have nowadays, I leave them knowing that I said everything that I wanted to say or needed to say and that I told the truth. And it feels good knowing that I did that. Let me give you an example. I have a friend who is obese and diabetic and he has a family and I don't want his health to put him in the hospital or send him to his grave. So. I told him one time, I'm like, look, man, I love you so much. You're one of my best friends, but you being diabetic, you really have to be mindful of the stuff you're eating. This is not a game. This is your health. Obesity is a health issue. You need to lose some weight. You made a commitment to your wife and your children to be a husband and be a father. And you can't do that if you're in the hospital or if you're dead. I would love to see you take your health a little bit more seriously. That's what a good person would say. You know, that's why we ultimately enjoy being around good people over nice people is because a good person they love and care for us and will do stuff for us because they want us to become the best version of ourselves nice people they just don't want to start any conflict and will tell you whatever you want to hear and you'll never grow as a person being deeply involved with a nice person you know maybe you can look at a nice person and say hey maybe sometimes i should be nicer maybe sometimes i shouldn't 
take people to task whenever they do something bad or make a mistake. That's the most you'll ever get out of a nice person. But I don't think there's much that nice people can offer. You have to really ask yourself, guys, do you want to be a nice person or be a good person? And you have to sit down and think about the merits and demerits of both. I will close with this quote from Bill Russell, one of the greatest basketball players of all time. I'm not going to quote it exactly, but you guys can find it in the documentary. He said, I never strived to be liked. I've only strived to be respected. Enough said. Like, subscribe, and share. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.